two students from Central University, Karnataka, working as interns at an NGO in Shillong, were assaulted by a gang of 30 bikers on Friday at a Jawai Deng locality in the city. The interns identified as Rechaz M. Saidek and Sara S. Thami from Kerala are students of Central University, Karnataka, and have been in Shillong for nearly a month. They were finishing up their internship with Impulse NGO. Narrating the incident, Saidik informed close to 30 people armed with blunt objects and helmets started attacking them as they were paying bills at a restaurant. Saidik added his friend Sarath was punched on the face. The boys were saved by the staff of the restaurant who pleaded with the attackers not to assault them. We went to the hotel for having lunch. So after having lunch while we were paying the bill, about 30 number of youngsters stormed into us with helmets and other tools like weapons like things blunt things and they started to attack us so my friend Sharat was punched in his face and he was in the street and i was inside the hotel so actually we were literally saved by the staff members of the hotel they were pleading uh, pleading with the attackers not to attack us even at that time we we were not understanding what was happening uh, we were shocked uh, because it's our first experience in Shillong and after the, uh, they created a scene out there uh, we were really shocked and we, uh, I was inside the hotel and at that time my friend was being punched and he was rescued by a doctor uh, from the nearby hospital and after that uh, we waited inside the uh, hotel and we called our local guardian who is a SP of Shillong police and he informed the armed police and about a five member armed police came and rescued us and we were taken to the police station and we informed our friends here and they have come here and our agency has also decided to file a FIR and we are also a filing an FIR. India is a diverse country and everyone should be treated with respect and with, uh, with equality. Uh, we don't like to generalize Shillong and the people of Meghalaya with such an isolated incident. Uh, the government and the society should take a moral responsibility to correct the people, uh, the attackers and um, and get them to the right path. And uh, go, as a responsible citizen, we should have a moral responsibility to reform them as good human beings. Well, the two interns were left in a shock uh, and took a while to understand what was happening to them, that people could randomly come out and attack them. They didn't tell, uh, they didn't tell us anything. Actually, it was a rally of bikes. They were honking. So, after paying the bill, we were about to go to our place where we stay. So, after seeing us, they were pointing out the fingers towards us and they were shouting. Even at that time, we didn't understand anything. We were surprised. We thought they were cheering or uh, celebrating something. And it was only after seeing the gestures we came to know that they were about to attack us. They uh, took the helmets and weapons to attack us. And as I told you earlier, my friend was really punched in his face. And we were separated. And it was uh, the locals who rescued us. At this moment, I would really like, love to thank the receptionist and the waiter of the hotel. They were women and they really saved us. And the doctor uh, saved my friend and I would uh, also like love to thank the media people and others who supported us. Meanwhile, an FIR has been filed by Impulse NGO case manager Bari Bhaila Laitan. The NGO has condemned the incident and also requested the police department to take strict action against the people involved in the violence. And we also got in touch with Barifilla Leighton, the case manager of Impulse NGO, who gave more inputs on the incident. Listen in. Uh, it was because of the help of the uh, people from the restaurant and also the people in and around the area that uh, the two uh, the two interns were. Uh, yes, they are. Um, uh, they were beaten uh, up and they have small uh, injuries but uh, they were being safe from any other serious injuries. So that is what, what happened. And uh, uh, they also, uh, that was what happened. And they told me the incident uh, that uh, uh, this is what actually happened yesterday. All right. So, you yeah. know, when, when you say a bunch of bikers, can you give me like mm -hmm. an estimate on the number of people tentatively? Yeah so, yeah. so they told me that there were 
30 of them. They have most probably they have 10 bikes and 30 of them. That's what they told me. Okay, and and can you can you think of the intent behind that as to why it happened? Um, I'm uh, I'm not sure, uh, like you know exactly what was the intention, what made the them uh, got so violent, uh, seeing uh, seeing them. I have no uh, comments on that because I don't know exactly what mm. were they thinking at that moment. The only thing was uh, we were just concerned about our intern who was being you know assaulted in in. Uh, uh, in the area, so uh, right. uh, I'm not sure exactly what what they're thinking. Uh, the people were thinking when they were beating up our interns. Mm. And my last question, Bari, is what more can you tell us about the two interns and how you know is their health at the moment? So at the moment, um, at, uh, yesterday after they reach uh, uh, home, I had a communication with them, checking on them how they are. Uh, the, the one of them is uh, still a little bit like his jaw is paining, mm. but uh, he is uh, uh, he is recovering and he is taking rest and he feel, he thinks that everything would be okay. Today I'll be going to see them again, uh, okay. making sure that they are okay. The second intern, uh, since he he was not, uh, he did not get so much. Uh, I mean, they were not able to uh, punch him so much, and uh, he was he's okay. They are normal. They are okay. As for now, as for uh, last night, uh, and uh, they seem to be doing okay. Uh, both of them, I spoke to them again uh, at around 10.30. They were okay. So today, uh, we'll go and check on them.